Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Keith here, Jesse on the camera. Tonight on the bench, we have the new Lossy RC NASCAR they have out. This is the great stuff. Ryan Blaney Menards NASCAR Ford Mustang. Uh, sweet unit, let's take a look. Okay guys, so this is a 12 scale RTR race car, comes LiPo, 2.4 gig, all that good stuff that you expect from the Horizon brand under their web. Uh, very much, very similar, shares a lot of parts with the Arma Grom series uh, vehicles. At this point, Jesse and I have all of them, the Granite, the Typhon, Typhon, whatever it is, and the uh, Mojave, Mojave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all awesome trucks. And buggy so far uh, they came out with the lossy car I know it is under the lossy car but it's still a horizon hobby vehicle shares a lot of the same parts like I just finished blabbing about let's take the body off and take a look okay so talk about the body really quick before we rip that off start on the front bumper we have this really nice hard plastic splitter to protect the front of the car backed up with the foam pad bumper behind it that's for when you're racing you hit somebody it doesn't push your body back hit your front tires disable your steering um, on the side you have the side protector bumpers also keep your body from getting pushed in you don't need that in racing if you've done on-road racing you know that will ruin your day and on the back the rear bumper is also a sweet looking diffuser, followed up by this hard molded wing. Now the body on this guy is, as you just noticed, clipped on with pins. It is not the quick release because there's not much room to get a quick release in there and they want to keep the weight down on the body. So back to a basic Lexan, we have the wing about the only added weight. Again, beautiful sticker kit, does not need much. We got one corner lifting out of the box, but otherwise the paint, the decals, everything is fantastic. Under the hood, looks very much like the Grom series vehicles. As you guys know, the arms have the same style. Now I don't know which parts will work, but luckily they gave us a leaflet inside talking about all the sweet lossy parts that lossy uh, usually always has with their vehicle. Uh, so we have adjustable upper A arms, adjustable steering lengths. We have the steel C hubs to re or steel CBD outers to replace the plastic ones. Uh, steel CBDs, C hubs, knuckles, steering rack, motor cooler, and a aluminum motor plate. Oh, and dry shaft in the middle. I think it is already steel. I'm not sure. Were the other ones plastic? I think they were, right? Noodles? No, they were steel. We went to aluminum. Yeah. That's right. Lightweight because something spinning light matters, right? So, okay, under the hood, you guys, just like the other ones, we got the servo up front with your steering rack setup. I guess like a wiper rack setup on it. It actually works okay. Servo's a little bit slow if you want to go racing. I would upgrade that if you do want to go fast. If you do put a brushless in there, really upgrade that servo. You're going to need that response time to keep this thing going in a straight line. Possibly gyro too, that would help. Uh, behind that, we got the two-in-one Spectrum receiver, the same one, the SET that they use at everything at this point. Um, all the smaller mini stuff like that. Uh, great unit. We have the fan. I think the fan came out on the Typhon. Yeah, it came out on the Typhon. It was not. There's no room for the ground. He tiny. So it came out of there. We get the 380 can behind exact same can you'd find in the Groms. Um, I don't know how many turns it is, but it works good. Um, and a G2 Spectrum smart battery, um, 1400 milliamp uh, 2S 7.2 LiPo. You are gonna need a LiPo conversion for the tiny IC2 connector, IC2 connector. You're gonna need a converter to go to your smart charger to bump that up. Or in the box, it does come with one of their standard uh, USB chargers, which takes way too long. Just buy a smart charger G2. Make sure it's G2 capable so you can plug these guys in. No balance lead, plug it in, let her eat, good to go. Um, yeah, otherwise, so far, we've only had it for a little bit of in house drifting. Um, now, some quick notes. Uh, we noticed as soon as we took it out of the box, the drive line was a little bit choppy and tight. It had a mean cog to it. It still has a little bit, but it's getting better. Okay, it's getting a lot better. You can 
you can feel it real low RPM. You can feel feel that little that little tightness in there somewhere. So we did take our trusty two mil driver and cracked. Well, actually, we took the top plate off and we put some utter butter uh, all right on the differentials and a little bit on the uh, pinion and spur. The nice thing is you can get to your differentials by just opening this whole top plate. One screw in the middle, five back here, four in the front. Wiggle it up, it comes up, no problem. Your motor will come up with it. Lay it to the side, put your grease in, roll it down, put it back in. Now, you want to run all these in by hand and like finger tight. That's all you need, guys. Don't put your hand on and crank it. That's too tight for a plastic small scale, especially on the diff. Um, what we found the most of the tightness was coming from on this kit was the front differential bolts were put in by Chi Man or something. They were whatever. Pick a super, I don't know superheroes, but somebody very strong <laughs> put them in. We also loosened the back. Um, I actually had to put my arm and crack the front ones off uh, free. Uh, so we've loosened them up. It's getting better. A little bit tight out of the box, but that's not really bad. We've driven it for half a pack and the tightness is starting to go away so nothing wrong with that it's better than it being loose that's about enough on the video um we're not going to really rip it in here all we have is some concrete that we could do a little bit of drifting on really not that exciting the exciting part will come is when we get all the upgrade parts the full brushless system we will show you um, that and we also noticed that they put the upgraded servo mount in where you could put your receiver on top before you had to buy that on the other one. So at least they're starting to think forward for us. I'm going to shut up now. We'll see you guys on the next video. Cheers.